Hello everyone, uh, here's a review of the JG brand Airsoft uh, M4 carbine gun. Um, some people call it the M4A1, uh, the box never says that, so just whatever. Um, also known as the Golden Eagle brand. Um, this is the enhanced version, there's basic version and enhanced version. Enhanced I think has a higher rate of fire and it's like 50 feet per second, more than the uh, basic version. Um, I took the gun out, but here in the box. I got it from Airsoft GI. It was $150. Um, here's like this little chrono slip from Airsoft GI. Uh, with .20 gram BBs, it says 385 feet per second. Comes with um, some more little manuals and stuff. The gun itself comes with this cheap charger and an 8.4 volt battery right here. Um, seven cells. Um, I upgraded. I got two uh, 9.6 volt batteries. Uh, and they're eight cells, so they will last longer. The cells are, you know, two, four, six, eight, versus the standard one has two, four, six, seven. So, um, the gun itself, great gun, chrono at 385, I believe it. Website says 400, but I never believe what the websites say. So, um, it's got a six position stock, that's all the way out, that's all the way in, then you got, you know, four other positions besides those, all throughout there, so... I used it all the way out, locked in place, nice and good. Um, metal parts in this gun. Um, underneath the stock part itself here isn't metal. Underneath this rail piece, don't know what you call it, that's metal. Uh, metal trigger, of course. Um, metal, this little piece right here is what you use to take these top and bottom pieces off to put the battery in. That's metal. Um, metal front sight, metal rear sight, uh, metal charging handle there. Uh, metal hop-up cover, metal external barrel here, a little plastic orange piece, but um, <clears throat> flip the gun over here. Uh, metal fire selector, it's got um, safety and semi-auto and fully auto. No bad vent right now, but um, yeah, so here's where you, uh, on the back side here, push this button and the magazine will come out. Here's the magazine. It is a 300 round high capacity magazine, um, fully metal, it's got the little windy wheel thing or whatever, don't know what you call that on the bottom, so you can hand load it, or uh, you know, put the BBs in it. What you do is you, a lot of you are probably familiar with this, open this up, just pour your BBs right into there, close it, uh, then you can either, to get the BBs actually to be able to shoot them, there's like another uh, cylinder inside here that the BBs need to be in, not when they're just poured in. So to get them in that cylinder to be able to shoot them, you either wind this wheel with your finger, or it comes with a little butterfly tool, and it's got like a little um, hexagon shape. Um, tool itself is plastic, the hexagon piece right at the end, which you can be using, is metal, and this goes in, there's like a little hexagon shape thing right there, snap that in, and then you twist it until you hear that click noise, that means it's done, um, like it's all loaded. You can load about, I would say, 200 BBs in where you can actually shoot, like before you need to twist it anymore. Then once you twist it, again, um, you know, put this in there, twist it, you can load about the extra remaining 100 or so. Um, I got another one of those, also. One comes with the gun. The additional one, it was $12.50, $12.50 in Airsoft GI. Uh, my whole order, which was uh, the mag, extra mag, the gun... And I got some BBs, um, and not not this brand, this is a different brand, but a bag of 5,000 BBs, three bags actually, just like this. My total came to, here's my receipt, uh, shipped, my total was $180, can't really read it, $180.50. That's the gun, three bags of 5,000 .20 gram BBs, they're Echo One brand and the gun for that price, the extra mag, so that's pretty cheap. Um, gun itself is $150 on Airsoft GI, that's the enhanced version, basic version was 135 I think. So for $15 more, you're getting like 50 feet per second more, that's what people say anyways, I've never shot the basic so I'm not sure, and people say it's a higher rate of fire. So, um, great gun, I would highly recommend it, never had any problems. Um, also included with the gun, uh, let me see if I can find it here, is uh, the BB, um, like, unjamming rod. Um, 
It comes with a poster. Also, I do not have the poster on hand right here. Then all these um, pamphlets and books and stuff. And then here's the BBD jamming, unjamming rod, whatever. Um, never had to use that, but it's nice. comes with it for free, so that's always good to have. Um, charging handle right here is metal. You pull this back, and up this little latch opens on the side. You adjust your hop up just with your uh, finger roll thing forward or backward to adjust the hop up. I always keep mine off. Now charging handle, um, when you get it, you're going to pull it back and it will, it's spring loaded, you let go and it will snap forward. My, the spring on mine actually broke off and this other little metal piece. Um, they're not necessary, all they're for is to make the hop up, or the charging rail slide back by itself. Mine doesn't so I just push it back. So yeah. Um, and you close that there. Um, handle, removable, plastic handle, but big um, piece to unscrew it, big metal pieces right there, and metal rail. Um, great handle. I bought this red dot for it. It was like $8 at Dunham's. Just a cheap uh, red dot. Let me turn it on here. Instead of a dot, it's actually a cross. Kind of hard to see, but uh, that was like 8 bucks at Dunham's. Pretty accurate, pretty good once you get sighted in. Comes with two batteries, the one that's in there right now, and an extra one. I prefer the um, open sights though than the uh, than the red dot. Have the sights work here. Let's see, we've got our um, bigger sight. I'm gonna try to have the camera look down at right there. Um, fully adjustable rear sights, fully adjustable left, right, forward, backward. Front sights are fixed, and then. Uh, you can see down there, and then you just push this piece right here forward, or no, it's already forward, pull it backward, and you get the peep sight, which is just a lot smaller of a hole. Um, meant more for sniping, it's a lot more accurate, you can barely see it there. But yeah, um, really nice, really accurate, especially for an AEG. Um, it compares to most airsoft sniper rifles, as far as accuracy, I would say. Um, fully automatic, I will have a shooting test later probably, not sure. Um, great gun, didn't do anything to this. Instead of the standard um, 7 volt, or I mean uh, 7 cell, 8.4 volt battery, I got two 9.6 volt um, 8 cell batteries. On Amazon, these are $35, I believe, for both of them, and that's including the shipping. Um, so I would recommend getting those. People say it's higher feet per second, higher uh, rate of fire shoot BBs faster pretty much. I can't tell the difference, but you know, if people say they are, I'm assuming they are, and I know they last longer. You can tell the difference about, uh, they got a whole extra cell. They definitely last longer. Um, let me set this down. How you put those in there is on the gun here. Uh, there's this metal piece. Pull this back and the top and bottom pieces come right off just like that. Um, then you got your connector in here, you got your fuse box. Um, this, game, or this gun did come with a uh, blown fuse, it didn't work out of the box. Um, I just quickly you know, took this off, checked the fuse, and yeah, that was a problem. Put a new fuse in there, and it worked just fine. So if you're going to ever miss functions, um, stop shooting, whatever, take the zip tie off, pop this fuse box open, pull the fuse out, throw a new one in there, and it should work fine. Um, here's the connector, you just plug a battery into that. And then, you know, kind of tuck the battery up toward the, the metal piece like that, and then you'll snap both these pieces on. Really easy to figure out. Um, once you get it and you try it, I'm sure you'll, you won't you will have any problem. Um, so, yeah, anyways, great gun. Uh, FPS, again, is about 385 is what they say. Um, I would say that's about right, because I compare it to other... I got about 30 airsoft guns. Um, this is one of the best, one of the better ones I have. And... Um, for the price, especially a $150 gun, this easily compares to the three and four hundred dollar um, GNG or KWA guns out there. Great gun, I would highly recommend this gun. Again, got an airsoft GI. Took about a week for them to ship it here. I used a code to get free shipping. The gun itself was $150 shipped. Um, or no, I'm I'm sorry, not shipped. Shipping was like 20 bucks, like $19, but I had a code for free shipping. So yeah. Bought this gun about a year and a half ago. I didn't want to review it as soon as I got it, just in case something went wrong um, between then and now. So, just thought I would let you guys uh, know the truth. This this uh, honestly is a great gun. The GNG M4A1. 
Um, yeah, so I shoot, like I said, the .20 gram uh, TSD BBs. Um, one bag will last a decent amount of time. I mean, 5,000 BBs. That's 300 in each clip here, each magazine. And a magazine should last. In like an actual skirm skirmish, not just target shooting, not just sitting the down, you know, unloading it. Um, each clip should last at least probably 15, 20 minutes. So um, that's like if you were really in a lot of action. If you were kind of sniping or just sneaking around, not doing a lot of shooting, I would say each clip would easily last you probably half an hour, 45 minutes. So yeah, um, great gun, highly recommend it. If you have any questions or comments or anything. Uh, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them or respond. Um, hope you liked the video. Please rate it, comment, whatever you want to do. Alright, thanks. Bye.